Hi, I'm Stemily. I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY mini vacuum chamber and carry out some fun experiments to demonstrate the effects of air pressure. To make your mini vacuum chamber, you will need some form of plastic tub with a removable lid, a wine saver pump and wine vacuum stopper. Ask your parents. Mine gave me this. It doesn't look like it's been used much. A drill and a 16mm drill bit some marshmallows and some other fun things to experiment with. First thing you will need to do is to drill a hole in the lid of your tub. Get a grown up to support you with this bit. But remember, girls can use power tools too. And don't be afraid to have a go. They may seem scary, but they're really not. And always remember to wear your goggles. drill on the floor. Perfect. Now, take your vacuum wine stopper and push it through the hole you've just drilled. It should be a tight fit. If it's a little tricky, ask an adult to help you. You can always try wiggling it so you can get this perfect seal. Now grab some marshmallows and pop them in Put the lid back on and fasten it up. Grab the wine saver vacuum pump and get pumping. Make sure to keep an eye on the marshmallows. The more I pump, the bigger the marshmallows will get. Oh, it's getting a bit. It's getting a bit stiff. Whew. They're definitely getting noticeably bigger, and the pot's caving in. So why did this happen? Here on Earth. We're surrounded by our atmosphere. The atmosphere is about 300 miles thick, but most of it is within 10 miles above our heads. This contains all the gases that we breathe. All this gas above us adds up to a lot of mass, and so everything below is under constant pressure from the gases pressing down. We call this air pressure. In the experiment we just carried out, the pump was sucking out the air from inside the tub. As the pump removes the air, the pressure around the marshmallows reduces. Normally, the air pressure around the marshmallows limits their size, but as the air is removed and the pressure around them reduces, the air trapped in the marshmallows that make them all light and fluffy and delicious can expand, and they grow bigger and bigger and bigger. However, it seems the large plastic tub wasn't the best choice, but it does show how powerful air pressure can be. When the air was removed, the air pressure around the outside of the tub was so great it crushed in the same way you'd crush an empty drinks can. For the last experiment, we are going to see what would happen if you were stuck in a vacuum. For example, the vacuum of space. Say hello to our explorer, Peggy Whitston. Now, I have made some holes where Peggy's eyes, mouth and nose would be. So let's pop her into the tub and see what happens. There we go. Oh my god! Well, it looks like Peggy would expire in the vacuum of space. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed making and experimenting with your own vacuum chambers as much as I did. Bye!